In this problem, we're told a 68.5 kilogram skater moving initially at 2.4 meters per second on rough horizontal ice comes to rest uniformly in 3.52 seconds due to the friction from the ice. What force does friction exert on the skater? So we have the skater here, and we know they're going to be traveling initially at 2.4 meters per second. And so we know we're going to travel, or they're going to travel, and then come to rest uniformly in 3.52 seconds. So they're going to travel for 3.52 seconds, and then they're going to be here. And then we know their speed when they're here, they're coming to rest. So they're going to be traveling 0 meters per second. So that's just a diagram of what's going on. Let's go ahead and write down what we're given. So given, so we're told that the mass of our skater is going to be 68.5 kg. And you know kg is mass. So we know the mass. We also know the initial velocity, or v sub 0, of our skater, right? They're going to be traveling 2.4 meters per second in the beginning of our interval. So that's going to be the initial velocity. We also know the final velocity, right? Because it says they go, they come to rest uniformly. So at the end of the interval, they're going to be traveling 0 meters per second because they're rested. So that's going to be that. And then we also know how long it's going to take. T, so the time it's going to take is going to be 3.52 seconds, right? So that's how long it takes them to go from the beginning to the end. And then, so yeah, that's going to be this. And then keep in mind what they're asking. They're trying to find, or we're trying to find the force, the force friction exerts on the skater. So we know that force is equal to mass times acceleration. So this is the formula we use to solve for force. And so notice how we're given the mass, but we don't have the acceleration. So what we're going to want to do is use these variables that we're given to solve for acceleration, and then we just plug them in, and then we can solve for the force that they're asking us to find. So I'm going to write right here acceleration equals question mark because that's what we're trying to find. So we're going to use kinematics to solve this, to solve for the acceleration first. So the formula we're going to use is v equals v sub 0 plus a times t. Right. So notice how we're given v, we're given v sub 0, and we're given t so we can solve for a. And so hopefully by now you're pretty good at kinematics. So all we got to do is just plug in what we're given. So we know v is going to be 0. v sub 0 is 2.4 plus a. So a is just our variable times t, which is 3.52. So I'm just going to write plus 3.52a. And then now what we need to do is solve for a. So I can subtract 2.4 from both sides. So 3.52a. I'll divide both sides by 3.52. So if you do this, minus 2.4 divided by 3.52, you're going to get it's about minus 0.6818. And so you can round this if you want. I'm actually going to just leave it like this. And so keep in mind our units are going to be meters per second squared. right? These are the units since we're using meters and seconds. That's our acceleration. So keep in mind we're solving for force. Force equals mass times acceleration. We have the mass, and we just found the acceleration. So what we can do is solve for force just by plugging it in. And make sure when you do this, your mass is in kilograms, your acceleration is in meters per second squared. In this case, it is, but if it wasn't, you'd have to change it to uh, meters per second squared in kilograms. So if we plug it in, 68.5 times minus 0.6818. If you go ahead and do this, 68.5 times minus 0.6818 you're going to get minus 46.7. And so keep in mind when you measure force, it's written in newtons. So this is going to be the force exerted, but the way they want you to answer this is you're actually going to make it positive because this is how you would describe it with direction, but you just want to say the force they're exerting is 46.7 newtons, and then it's going to be directed. So the way they want you to write it is directed opposite of the motion of the skater. So this is how they want you, want you to write it. So just keep in mind, right, since it's negative, it's going to be in the opposite direction. So this is how they write it, but uh, this is just a more an exact answer. This is the actual force. So this right here is going to be your actual answer, and hopefully you found this useful.